Hey, good morning. Now today, we're going to do a little different. I'm going to do a little bit, of, and I don't know how long this is going to be, because I don't know how much I'm going to run my mouth. Um, but I need to be accountable to somebody. I told you, it's kind of going to be like what I eat, what I do, whatever. I don't know what it's going to turn into be. So I told you yesterday that Saturday, we, I have got something flying around me at every, <laughs> listen, it is turning summertime into south already. I'll talk about being outside in a minute. Um, Saturday, I had my fish plate and had my donuts. And they say, uh, be mindful of what you eat. I was mindful. It was all up in my mind. I knew what I was eating. <laughs> I knew I was going to get me a fish plate. And I knew I was going to eat them donuts when she went and got them. I knew it. So I didn't binge it. I didn't just give in. I planned it. It is. I had planned to do it. I, I did it with a purpose. The purpose of that's what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat it. Okay, so yesterday, that was Saturday yesterday, I didn't have a plan to eat the chocolate chip cookies of Sebastian's that I ate. So, I can withstand it until it comes in my house. And then when it's in my house, all bets are off. It is just too overwhelming. I sit there and I talk to myself. And as I told you, that's how I have to do it. I have to talk to myself. And I talk to myself. And I talk to myself. And finally, I just, I shut myself up. And I got up. I went in there and I got them and I ate them. So, I thought, well, I, I need to go back to when I first started this channel. The almost exclusive videos I did in the beginning was what I eat in a day. I call them my food journals. And that was the only thing I planned on doing when I started this channel was to show my food to stay accountable by showing it. And then it has morphed into, you know, what we do today. But I thought, well, I need to go back to showing it. Because if I was showing it yesterday, big chance. Well, now, if if y'all have been around since the beginning, y'all seen it. I'll show you if I ate all my little squirrels around. Um, they're growing. They're getting big. But um, if y'all were around from the beginning, y'all know. If I binged on something, I showed you. I told you. I put it up on the screen. Y'all knew it. I didn't keep it from you. So... Wow, it does deter me from eating stuff I shouldn't. There are times that I still gave in, but I told it. It just makes it harder when you know you have to tell it. It makes it suck so hard when you know you have to fess up and say, Ooh, look what I ate, <laughs> when you don't want to. It's hard, but, well, it... it it's a it's a greater deterrent to not do it. So I thought, well, maybe maybe I'll start back today. Though there's no more cookies, obviously I ate those. <laughs> I don't think he has any. Well, he's got rice krispie, krispie treats, but those don't tempt me. So they don't call my name. He does have some um, like tater chips and things. So they they will tempt me. So far, so good. But my little squirrel is on the power line now. Huh. So, uh, what I've done so far is now I was talking to Tracy last night over at Trials of Long Hair Girl. We were messaging, and I started getting sleepy because y'all know I think it might have been somewhere between 10 and 10 30. I told her I, I was. I had to go to sleep. I was winding it down. So I went to sleep and I was back up at, was it two o'clock? It's four hours. It was two o'clock. I was back up at two o'clock. So then I got up, I finished my, put my dishes up out of the dishwasher because I, I let them run while I was asleep. I put my dishes up. My dishes with David washed and set over on the, um, thing to drain. I put those up. Uh, what else did I do? 
seemed like I did something else. I did sit back down and get me a little nap because I started nodding off again. My sleep is terrible and then I end up napping all day until it's time to get my whole four hours again. But I cleaned the bathroom and I'm just going to tell you, I don't know if anybody is as neurotic about the toilet as, <laughs> as I am, but I'm going to tell you what, I can't stand a toilet. I can't, I can't stand having to use one. A toilet disgusts me. I hate toilets. <laughs> That's why I like my blue toilet water. It just looks nicer. Well, I can't stand cleaning a toilet. If my face goes down into the bowl, I'm a goner. If my face goes in that toilet, I'm going to retch to the point that my eyeballs are going to bust out of my head. <laughs> so, <laughs> I avoid it. Well, how many years back my son worked at a retail place? And we were talking about how I can't stand it. He goes, paper towels, Mom, paper towels. I'm like, what What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> so, you know, the paper towels they have like in... This is a hardware store. When they would have to go around and keep the bathrooms up, they would spray it and they would use the paper towels, wads of paper towels, and then they could just throw it away and not have to worry about having a rag. Oh my gosh. Game changer. I will make sure to reserve paper towels for that specific task. I keep a roll under my um, sink. If I'll tell you this too, if I uh, clean the toilet, I like to clean. <laughs> I like to clean the toilet before I take a shower. That way, I can wash anything off of me that touched me. <laughs> so if if water splashed on me, so if I was to throw up in the toilet and the and the heat and the water splashed up in my face, I would die. I'd be done. I'd be I'd be over. So when I clean it, I like it to be right before I get in the shower because then I, I feel like I'm washing all that off of me. Even though ain't nothing touched me, it might have. If, I swear to you, if I have a shirt and when I like lean to get one side, if it touches anything, I, when I get through, I have to change my shirt. I, I cannot do anything else with that same shirt on because I think there is a germ on it. And I'm not a germaphobe. I'm a toilet phobe. <laughs> so, <laughs> if there's any of y'all out there, I sure could use some commiserating. <laughs> no, I ain't alone. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that that's, was that. So we, we got that done this morning. Then I went out and um, I come here and Flair was down at the end, so she was wanting something to eat. Well, she needed her dandelions today, so I, I took you out there already and showed you where her dandelions are. And, and there's a big ant hill out there beside the houses. The garage is huge. So I stirred it up for you because I think it's fun. And then I um, fed Flair. And so I don't know what else we'll get into today. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know how boring it's going to be. I don't know what we're going to do. So just... Hang on, we'll see together. How about that? So breakfast is a hash cake, which is my version of the hash waffle. And it is huge. However, it still is the 104 grams of hash browns, which is two points on everything except purple. Once I added in, it has bread free cheese, which is zero on everybody. Um, the green pepper and the onion and the Canadian bacon, it bulked it up. It was so big I had to add two eggs and normally only has one egg. So that extra egg bulked it up too. Now the, here's the thing. The points are the same except for green. Green adds an extra egg. So for green, this is eight points. For purple, it is zero points because of the um, potatoes. And then blue, it's only two points. So it's a huge breakfast. Simply filling it is zero points, just as in purple. Also on Simply Filling is ketchup. So, of course, I'm going to add my ketchup. Even if I was on blue, I would not count my ketchup because I never have. <laughs> it just makes it legal now that it's Simply Filling. <laughs> then I have my water. 
I have my coffee, I have my green tea, and my all important 500 pounds of pills. My, there's my little book that I'm writing everything in. So here is my zero point breakfast for today. So here is Flair's Corner. I have David leave it over here for me so I can keep her a steady supply of dandelions because it's the only vegetation she will eat. And you don't know, David, but for him to leave this in his yard, even though our grass is not pretty, it's not fancy grass, still it's his grass and he likes it done 100%. So for him to have left this for me and her, was a huge huge step <laughs> so we are picking her some dandelions because she is out of roaches and she needs some more vegetation because it helps her poop yes they have trouble pooping she they're just like us if they don't have their roughage and the protein in the bugs does not help so I give her her dandelions. I just pick off where am I? Just that much. Take it in and wash it, and then drop them down. I let, I let she eats a few of them out of my hand because you know we, we might if I can hold the camera and look at her at the same time. I might show you that. So let me go on and pick these, and then we'll head in the house. I wanted to show you this giant ant hill. First of all, this is what I saw down here. Let me see if I can get close enough. Can you see it? See the little um, ladybug? But this is, I don't know if you can tell how tall it is. Now, you can't see the ants. I don't have a stick, but I, I got my cane. So I'm going to um, attempt to stir some ants up just so we can watch them. And hopefully they don't crawl up on my cane. I'm going to tell you what. I backed into some of these before. They hurt like the devil. So hold on. I'm going to just be like a little boy. Look at that. Look. If there's that many in that hole. How many do you think is in that whole hill? I do not even want to. I don't even want to imagine. Look at that. That is fascinating to me. Okay, well, I just want to share that before we went into feed flare. Because <laughs> that just, it fascinates me. You can see the little egg sacs down in there, too. Okay, well, that's our outdoor fun. I'm sweating. I am sweating. It, it's not even 10 o'clock yet, and I'm already sweating. Just walking out here to get, look at my big old shadow. Good grief. Okay, we're heading in. I've got a handful of dandelions. I've already washed them. She comes down. She saw them. Did you see that? Look. You see them? See that? She thinks she's getting them. So she really wants some. Watch. Here you go, honey. I'm telling you, this is the only vegetation this little child will eat. She might eat four. I'm going to guess four. Then she'll be through. I'll see if she wants any water. I'll just put the rest of them down on the bottom. And if she doesn't, oh, well, she's going to stop at two, at three. Want them more right now? Want it? See if I can get her to close her eyes. Want it? A lot of times if I try to give her something she doesn't want, she just closes her eyes. <laughs> so what I do is I just drop these in her thing. Try to keep them um, separated because just the dandelion itself is, you know, kind of dry and thick, the leaves of the flower. And I don't want her accidentally picking up too because when she eats her bugs and her worms, if they're side by side, she'll get two, sometimes three. Yesterday, she got three roaches at one bite, which she can handle, but these are... I'm afraid these might stick in her um, throat. So let's see if she wants any water. If she don't, she won't take it, trust me. There you go. 
Sometimes I'll check to see if she wants water. You couldn't pry her lips open with a crowbar. She will just sit there with them pursed shut as tight as tight can be. <laughs> They're such funny little creatures. Now you see she's getting it all worked around in there. Wetting all that whistle. You good, honey? Can you see the fork in the end of her tongue when it comes out? Very fascinating. I'm just fascinated this morning. Fascinated with the ants, fascinated with flair. She's got some bad teeth in there too, from her age. Poor baby. You see that belly, don't you? You see how she's laying there with them, <laughs> them legs? <laughs> Can you see her legs? There's one and there's one up that way. And that little fat belly. She got hung on her hammock yesterday. She was halfway on a rock, halfway on her hammock, and her belly was just hanging in the balance. So I had to go. Give her a little boost. A couple weeks ago, she got um, hung. Her nails on the side of her little cave, and the way she was hanging, she couldn't get herself um, loose. So if I hadn't been home and caught her, she'd have just hung there until she fell. Poor little thing. You can't see up on her hammock, but on the little um. There are little round rings that I have clipped together to suspend it. It's, it's a homemade, I'll show you in a minute, hold on. She's slowing down, so. That'll be good. Because y'all know I use anything and everything if I can use it I use it so I'm gonna show you let me take this off this and the the back is all um faded but they're from a book and calendars and stuff just a scenery but this hammock is made from the sleeve of an old house coat of mine and if you see those jumbled up um little pieces of Blanky, that's what her blanky's made out of. They're on silver rings. The reason why they're jumbled in there like that is because when she was smaller, she tried to go through it because they will go up in the least little thing that they think they can go in. If they can get their little head in it, they're going to try to go in. She got caught halfway in that ring and scared me to death. So ever since then, I have had these <laughs> pieces of blanky shoved up in there. So yeah, all right, Flair. Tell them bye-bye, little girl. Say bye-bye. All right, so my brother got him a job at Sam's, and look at there. There is one donut left. I didn't do that damage. <laughs> I told y'all about what I ate. Anyway, he got him a job at Sam's, and one of the benefits is a PLUS membership, and he could get one for a family member, so he got me a PLUS membership, which means, my goodness, what is that? Oh, that's glue. I just noticed that. Is that broke? Okay. I'm sorry. I just noticed that. That means um, you can go like during the early morning hours just for plus members and you can order stuff online and get free shipping. So I was excited. I went up there and got it today. Hadn't been inside Sam's in forever in a day. Way before the pandemic ever started. So this is what I picked up today. Big old pack of the Jones Canadian bacon. That's a nice size pack right there. Um, four pieces is only one point. Two pieces, seven pieces is three points. And then the Vidalias are out, so I got a big old bag of those. This right here, 
see that i come around the corner and i look i can see those right there you see the ends i said they make pickles that is okras <laughs> sure enough sam's had pickled okra i couldn't believe it you know i had to get it y'all fixing to see some with my lunch too now they don't have the light laughing cow but the original one is two points that aged cheddar inside is it is light it's one point so i'm fine with that it's not like i eat three or four of them at a time anyway i put one or two on my broccoli so and then i did not have any more of my ready bacon and they had this big old pack of the hormel and it's still good points just like the walmart two slices is one point three slices only two points so that's what's going on my blt today and this is one of the things i specifically went for is the ranch seasoning because i'm gonna make some instant pot ranch potatoes and some other things and i thought well, it was more economical to buy it in bulk than in those little packs and i'm sure it has points but y'all know i don't count points for any kind of seasoning i just don't not going to can't make me <laughs> then i saw this bacon and chive seasoning doesn't that look delicious let's see what it has in it oh spices you know it's got brown sugar you know i'm not counting it garlic onion salt bacon fat woohoo and cooked bacon chives yeah that's gonna be good on something i'm not sure what but i can't wait to try it and then this looks and sounds like trader joe's onion salt so see how that looks so i thought well we'd try that and then i needed broccoli that was on my list as well i needed broccoli for one day this week so that is it that is my sam's haul lunch is my blt if you can't see that beautiful if can you see how beautiful that heirloom tomato is i can't get it all the way up but i have um the bread is simply filling lettuce and tomato of course are i have two points worth of bacon on there i have three slices i just had that in my grocery haul and i did not put any mayonnaise on it because all the points i ate this weekend i'm doing without the mayonnaise because normally i like a big glob so i'm just going to do without and then there are my okra pickles that i just got at sam's and they're good too i should have known they would be because mount olive is a north carolina company and i think david muted that tv even though i wasn't going to make him <laughs> he did i'm seeing him he's holding it bless his heart <laughs> so this for me is a two-point lunch and there is my green tea if you're um curious this is the white wheat bread I am cooking and filming. This is part of supper and part of a collab. <laughs> Just wanted to come and show you I'm having a banana. I didn't want to take my phone off the tripod. Lazy alert. Supper tonight is a chicken breast that I put that bacon and chive seasoning on that I just bought at Sam's today. It smells really good. I'm excited to taste it. Then green beans I had in the freezer from that haul that I made down at the farm fresh market mm, a couple months ago i had those four big old bags of green beans i think it was 12 or 13 pounds if i remember correctly anyway i fixed them up put them in the freezer and that was one of those and then my homemade macaroni and cheese which i weight watcher fried from my normal full fatty um, macaroni and cheese the one that we always <laughs> have made and it's pretty darn good to not be the original you know you, you do what you can to get what you want and if that's how it happens then that's how it happens if you use whole wheat um, elbow noodles purple and simply filling will be less points but I kind of got burned out on those especially in my macaroni and cheese I'd rather just uh, deal with the points and have it like this so I don't remember right off the bat what green is I looked at it before I started cooking but then I forgot so I will um, have it on the screen, but for me, this is a five-point supper. <laughs> All right, this is how I'm going to finish my night. I'm going to finish up my supper, watch my show. I will have popcorn in a little while because that's my nightly routine. 
So that will do it for me today. And I have enjoyed having y'all along. And have a good night. I'll see you later.